morning, buddies. This is Alex. And today, I would like to make an introduction of uh, a diesel engine powered by, uh, you know, powered by a diesel engine, the soil interlocking brake machine. Now, at my back here is uh, this model, HR uh, 2 25, the diesel engine soil interlocking brake machine. And this particular machine, now you see, is uh, it's especially pro for producing the soil, the soil interlocking bricks. Uh, you know, in the world, especially uh, in Africa, you know, our uh, African customer, the, the, br the brick makers normally will be called these bricks uh, to be uh, stable, stable interlocking soil bricks. So the short name is called uh, I S S B. I S S B is the short name of this part of bricks. So now you can see this machine stand here. Uh, it's powered by a diesel engine. So that means uh, if the if if the area where the, there's no electricity, this machine is very uh, is a good choice for them to choose for using there for using there where there's no electricity it's because it's powered by diesel engine. Okay. Now what you see now, this one is the diesel engine, the diesel engine, and uh, here is the diesel tank, the diesel tank. I will open the cover, so here you will feel the the diesel, you will feel the diesel, and here is the filter, here is the filter. <laughs> Is the field? It can feel, uh, you know, the dirt, and uh, you know the the dirt, um, and some others, you know, uh, the small pieces of the the, 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 the how to see the soil, is the filter. And uh, and this diesel, this diesel motor, we use it the the wind cooling system. That means, you know, after sometimes using. The motor will be, especially here, the motor, the engine will be get very hot. So it's hot will be damaged the motor. But now we use, we equipped with, uh, we equipped with the wind, wind, uh, wind cooling system onto the diesel engine. So it's very nice. And compared with others machine, and our machine take use, our machine take use of the, the automatic starter, automatic starter with the battery. You see now here's the battery, here's the battery. Right? Okay, now like here. If you if there's not uh, you know the startup and battery, you have to use this. You have to use this to start. You have to use this by the menu, by the menu to start uh, this diesel, this diesel engine, right? But uh, our machine, you know, we we we, we take use, we put, we fix uh, the battery and the starter. Here's the starter. Here, touch it. Here the starter, automatic starter. Okay, I will, I will show you. This one automatic starter. Uh, and here, and this tank is for the for the story for storing the, the hydraulic oil, for storing the hydraulic oil. So here is the mouse open, and you 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 will feel the hydraulic oil, and the inside also has the filter. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what you see now here, this part, this part, we call it a, 
uh, the water cooling system for the hydraulic oil. You know, if you use uh, this machine in the in the uh, area where it's very high temperature, so the hydraulic oil will get heat after sometimes using. So it's but it's not it's a little harm to the to the hydraulic oil, right? So we put we fix this uh, water sealing water cooling system on here. So normally you will use uh, here. Uh, you, you will use the water pipe. This mouse is for the entrance. For the entrance. So you will use the water pipe here uh, to connect here. So the water will re recycling. The water will be recycled. Re recycle inside this uh, the blue the blue this one. Uh, right? So it will cool in the hydraulic oil. It will cool in the hydraulic oil and keep the whole uh, the hydraulic oil to be cool. So then it will be, you know, uh, to, to, to make the hydraulic um, system to be a high official, uh, official. And here is the hopper for holding the material. It's very easy, so nothing to introduce. Uh, and, uh, and here is for the producing the U-shape. This one is for the producing the U-shape bridge, U-shape. And this one for the producing the, the normal the normal bridge for the whole size, the full size, right? And you can see our material we use. It's very smooth, so it can keep the bricks to be a smooth surface. And here, here is the hydraulic pump. Here is the hydraulic pump. And by this, this fourth screw, by this fourth, uh, this fourth screw, it can, the function of this fourth screw is to keep the height of the bricks. So that means if you like to produce uh, the bricks is more uh, is more high more higher, so you will release this screw and make it down, make it lower, make it lower down, right? Uh, here's the handle. Here's the handle to control the waves, the waves of the of the how to see. Uh, you will control this uh, handle to to control the hydraulic pump go up and down to compress the bricks. Mm. And uh, what is that? It will switch off the, the diesel engine, the diesel engine. Okay. So this brick is just, uh, we produced already. It's fresh, it's fresh, it's fresh the bricks. And this brick is the four, is four sides. It's four sides for the, for the wall building, for the wall building. Normally we will use uh, this one interlocking because it's interlocking. And normally, you know, uh, some people require us to produce uh, the bricks, fabricated bricks with uh, two holes like this and uh, no, without this uh, you know, square holes in the middle. But you know why some people will, will be required this uh, square holes in, in the middle? It's because they would like to fill, to fill the pipes of the electric wires and uh, normally the water pipe inside or they will, you know, the pull, they will, they will pull the concrete, uh, concrete material inside to make the wall to be more solid. Yeah. And this one half the uh, half of the square holes here will be joined together to be to 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 to, to become a full you know the square holes normally like that. And this one the U shape, right? You know, kind of not privilege you you know. And this is the U shape. You know the U shape bricks normally will be used uh, onto the window size. 
you know the window the, the, the window the window size uh you have to use a reinforcement to support uh, the window to support the window normally these uh, u-shaped bricks will be used uh, on the on the area of the windows window size window location um and uh, this one's half bricks right this one half bricks kind of back right? half bricks this half bricks normally will be used at the corner of the uh the corner of the wall right so if after you building the, the wall with the four four bricks uh, to be the, the full the, 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 a complete wall and normally at the corner side you have to use a, a half bricks to join together join here at, at the corner area right and by here you will you know uh how to see we'll be joined here the bricks And uh, normally, here's the corner. Yeah. Okay, all right. See? You see, it's the half bricks, right? The half bricks will be, you know, at the corner here. Will be corner like this. Will be corner like this. Will be used the half bricks here at the corner. So the bricks will be joined together with uh, this, this direction. The bricks will be, uh, you know, do a corner. Right, so it's half bricks. Yeah, this one half bricks. It will be interlocking. Right here, you can see here, half bricks. Uh, so be joined, joined here, joined. Yes. Okay. 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 So the U shape, the U shape bricks will be normally used uh, if you would like to, you know, to to put to fix the uh, the wine. And electric wine for your house, or daily, you know, daily life you're using. Uh, you will use this this one, the protection, the protected uh, the pipes. You will put a fixer, uh, the, the wine inside, uh, to protect here, like this. Okay. So, see, it will be, it will be fixer uh, the wine, the wine inside the hose, inside the hose, and uh, or sometimes. Sometimes you will use, uh, you know, the reinforcement of the steel, the steel, the iron steel reinforcement, but not like this one. I just want to, you know, take this for example. I just want to take this for example to like the reinforcement to make the concrete wall, uh, make the, the walls to be more stronger. You will use uh, reinforcement here. Okay. And uh, you will join it uh, one by one to be up, to be up, right? To be up. And uh, to use uh, the the the, the stainless uh, the wire to connect well. And uh, the normally sometimes uh, the, the the block builder normally will use uh, the the reinforcement uh, uh, to be to be here and uh, to be make it to be a uh, to support uh, like a, a column or, or like a column yes or like a pillar a pillar to support here. Okay. Okay, that's all, my friend. And uh, today I have already uh, make uh, some introduction of the soil interlocking bricks. Like uh, our machine is uh, is powered by diesel engine. Normally, will be used uh, at the area where there's no electricity. So I think it's a very good choice for the people who want to use this uh, soil interlocking brick machine to produce the soil interlocking bricks. Uh, you know, the soil interlocking bricks normally will be. Um, Will be uh, how to see is a favorite is a favorite uh, choice for the people who is from the village. They don't have uh, too much money to produce the concrete blocks for the build the house, and they, they, they prefer to use the, the small, the lower investment of the bricks of the soil soil interlocking bricks to build a house. Maybe just the first level, uh, just the first stories of the of, of the house for you know to 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 build a house in a village. 
I think that will be very uh, good for the village people, you know. So because this kind of uh, soil bricks is uh, is uh, is a cheap, you know, with a cheap investment, the material is cheap. You can get uh, you can get the, the 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 soil material anywhere, right? You can get this soil material anywhere. You can you can you can dig you can dig the soil, you know, at maybe at the back of your house, and use the soil and uh, mixing with some uh, some small quantity of the cement to produce the bricks. I think it's very good. It's a uh, it's a very lower it's a very lower investment of the bricks compared with the concrete blocks. So uh, today, you know, I just uh, test this our you know the machine the diesel powered uh, machine. And uh, if you want to get more information about the soil interlocking bricks building the technology technology. Welcome to subscribe my channel and leave your comments on on the, my video and I will send you our maybe the website you can go through our website to uh, to get more information about this uh, interlocking technology. Thank you. See you next time.